This week on the show, quarterly earnings. Toy Story 3 has made some money. A private showing for Tinkerbell? All this and more. I'm Presley and I'll be your guide through D News Weekly. Welcome back to episode 3 of D News Weekly. I'm Presley and hope y'all are having a magical day. On Tuesday, Disney announced its third quarter earnings. Net income beat forecast by posting $1.33 billion based on $10 billion in revenue. That's up 40% from last year. Cable channel profits were up 50%. Parks and resort profits fell 8% even though sales increased 3%. On the bright side, Disney movies have gone from a loss last year to $123 million in profit. Some help came in from the purchase of Marvel Entertainment. Yeah, the word was entertain or something, and then it ended there. By the way, Toy Story 3 is the highest domestic grossing Disney film. One more movie item. Disney announced this week that they will hold a private screening for pass holders to see Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue. September 11th and 12th at Hollywood Studios. Reservations open 10 a.m. Monday, August 16th. This weekend, Orlando is hosting Star Wars Celebration 5. That mean it's like a mini Star Wars weekend? Don't forget to get over and ride Star Tours and go to the last tour to indoor party on the 14th. Also this weekend is the last of the Summer Nightcastic Fireworks Spectacular. This week in Disney history. In 2007, Disney announced it was changing the name of Disney's MGM Studios to Disney's Hollywood Studios, January 2008. This week, Disneyland's Haunted Mansion is 41. In 1942, Bambi has its premiere at Radio City Music Hall in New York. It was the fifth full-length animated film. In 1929, Disney is granted a trademark to use the image of Mickey Mouse in movies. Now your Disney Parks weather forecast. I can't wait until the seasons change. For the fourth straight week, according to weather.com, Walt Disney World is calling for highs in the low to mid-90s with scattered thunderstorms every day. The 10-day forecast for Disneyland shows temperatures in the 80s with partly cloudy skies starting Saturday through Wednesday, but all other days are mostly sunny. Random wait time check. If you are over in Disney's Animal Kingdom, go over to Expedition Everest. Can you tell if the Yeti is moving or not? This wait time is 45 minutes. Go over to dnewsweekly.com and let us know what you think. This week in Disney Apps, I'm going to talk about WDW Times. When you need to know what time the park closes or when the Festival of the Lion King's next performance is, this is your app. Just select your date and scroll down. See what's closed for refurbishment. Wow, there is a heap of refurbs going on. Let me know what your favorite mobile app is. Thanks for watching our show. We have been amazed at the great responses we have been getting. We will work hard to keep improving the show. We would love to know what you think and let us know any suggestions you may have. Send us an email at comments at dnewsweekly.com and please visit us at dnewsweekly.com. I'm done.